185.0 that is a new way in we are starting off good it's been exactly a week since we started uh, feeling tighter already feeling tighter in the midsection uh, just all around just feeling better super excited this is only week one so we only have 12 more pounds to lose 12 maybe even 13 maybe 14 maybe 10 you never know uh, but we're definitely gonna definitely liking the results so far it's only been a weekend probably lost a little bit of water weight and everything uh, but feeling way better so yeah it's a brand new week of training brand new opportunities to get better and uh, super excited so I'll see you guys soon and I'm going after more this week so I'm not gonna manipulate my macros yet by the way, the macro video, the nutrition video will be coming out this week. I'm super excited to bring that to you guys. I think it will help a lot of you. Um, but I'm actually doing some fasted, well, semi-fasted cardio, I should say. Um, so fasted, what fasted means in general, in the state of fast, means that you don't have any food in your system. Has no, you don't eat food for a little bit. Um, actually, when you sleep, uh, that is a state of fasted, fastedness. Fastness is that how you say it? Um, so that's the state of fastness. And then when you wake up and you eat breakfast, it's break fast. That's why it's spelled that way. Um, you you break your fast, and that's when you eat. Uh, so I'm actually not going to eat yet. Uh, I'm going to have something small. So that's why I said semi-fasted. Uh, but I'm just going to have something small and allow my body to burn the fat calories that it needs to, or the fat that it needs to. So kind of hit the, the fat deposits that I have. Um, I have no food in me, so I'm not burning the food with my cardio. I'm actually burning what I have. But you'll lose some muscle as well. So that's why I'm not a huge fan of fasted cardio. Uh, but anyways, uh, I need something to get my metabolism going. Since I'm not eating and I'm not getting that, you know, that blood sugar at an even rate, uh, I need something to get my uh, metabolism going so I can start the process of burning some fat. I'm going to drink some herbal tea. This is what it looks like. There, let me see if I can focus it. There we go. So I'm drinking some herbal tea real quick. Uh, it's a natural thermogenic. Burns 90 calories per serving just because it gets your metabolism going. Uh, and it tastes, I love the taste of it. So I'm drinking it warm. Uh, I'm also going to have one tablespoon. So one tablespoon. Of, and I actually measured it out. Make sure you measure your peanut butter and your almond butter, whatever kind of butter you, you use. Measure it out because it has a lot of calories in it. It has a lot of fat calories in it. Measure it out or you'll go over it. I promise you will. Um, so I'm having one tablespoon of almond butter. Uh, and that has about nine grams of fat in it. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want my body metabolizing fat. So when I'm going to do cardio, I want my body to be burning fat, I want it to be digesting fat, I want it to be breaking down fat. So I'm going to have a little bit of healthy fat, this is a healthy fat, uh, in my system to get my body digesting it, breaking it down, and that's going to get the process of the fat burning as well. So I'm going to have this, drink my tea, and I'll see you at the gym for some fasted, semi-fasted, I guess, cardio. All right, guys, so knocked out one hour on the treadmill uh, at a full incline, uh, which is a 15% incline for one hour. I did the first 30 minutes on a four speed and then the last 30 minutes on a five speed. And I just listen to books um, or watch YouTube videos during that time. So it goes really fast. It's actually really enjoyable. You can get a lot of stuff done while you're doing it. So you can kill two birds with one stone. So about to get out of here and uh, yeah, start my day. Still haven't ate yet. Still fasted, so I'm about to eat a lot when I get home, so I'll check in with you guys soon. Hey, what's going on, guys? So just finished my workout for today. Um, just did some fasted cardio, semi-fasted cardio, I guess. This is the sweater I have on my shirt. We're at about 900 calories, which is almost one-third of a pound. Uh, so feeling really good, feeling really energized, about to smash some food. Uh, before I do that, I wanted to talk to you guys real quick. And I was thinking about this theory my head when I was driving home the other day I listened to a lot of books a lot of books that feed you a lot of positive uh, you know just vibes and a lot of good information and I wanted to just pass that on to you guys so it was a theory of either getting in or getting pushed in so uh, we have a pool at my house and see if you can see the pool from here pools right back there right there and uh, 
You ever been by a body of water and it's cold? Let's say it's super cold water and it's super deep, all right? And a lot of people will be like, it'll dip their toe in, right? They'll dip their toe in and see how it feels. You know, when it's uncomfortable, it's either cold or they're uncomfortable because it's really deep, you know? And there's always those people that no matter what, if it's cold water, if it's warm water, if it's deep water, if it's shallow water, they dive in, they get into it, they dive in as fast as possible because they know if they dive into it, they'll get used to it over time. Now, there's some people also that tiptoe their way in, they slowly, gradually go in, they get to about their belly button level, and they're like, they're freezing, you know, they're sitting there in the water like this, but eventually they get used to it. And then there's those people that are in life, and you can use this as the example of the pool too, that just don't even get close to the water. They touch it, and they're like, no, that's too deep. I'm too scared of that. I'm afraid. My fear is out. And they don't get in, and they don't take the chance because they would rather be uncomfortably comfortable let's say it's super hot out we want to dive in to be refreshed but they'd rather be uncomfortably comfortable if that makes sense they'd rather be sweating they'd rather be hot than getting into the pool and being uncomfortable for a little amount of time even though they'll get used to it because you get used to it eventually and everybody knows that and i just want you to take that concept into life um sometimes those people need a push sometimes they'll get pushed and they'll have to they'll have their circumstances will make them get comfortable to something that they're uncomfortable with. So the person that, you know, there's people in life that just dive in, you know, Hey, I'm going to go work out. I'm going to eat good. They just dive into it. They're hitting the gym. They're working out. They're running. They're eating good. They're, they're accountable. They're just crushing it. At first it was uncomfortable, man. The first time I ever lifted, it was uncomfortable. The first time I ran a mile, it was uncomfortable, but they get used to it. They get better. And just the water gets warmer and warmer and warmer. And then there's those people that tiptoe in it. Hey, I'm going to start working out once a week. I'm going to start working out twice a week. I'm going to start cutting out 500 calories from my diet, maybe 200 calories from my diet. And they tiptoe, they tiptoe, they tiptoe until they're full blown and they get comfortable. It's uncomfortable at first. That first time eating kale rather than chips is uncomfortable. The first time, you know, running instead of walking is uncomfortable, but they get used to it and they get better and there's gradual increase. All right. So those are the two people. And it doesn't matter which one you take. As long as you're trying to get comfortable to a new habit, get comfortable to a new lifestyle. But if you're one of those people that are sitting on the side and you're like, no, I don't want to get in. I don't want to dive in. I'm too scared. It's too cold. I don't want to be uncomfortable. I encourage you today to get uncomfortable a little bit, to dive in, to get cold, to, to, to face your fears, to dive into the deep water. All right. And um, why to do that? Because you might get pushed in. So it might be until you have that first heart attack or that stroke that you finally dive in or you finally tiptoe in. Whoa, I had a heart attack. I should probably, I should probably start changing something. And then they don't, they don't do it. They get pushed again. I had a second heart attack. I had a third stroke. I had another, I have a, I have a, I can't walk anymore. I'm in a wheelchair. I have arthritis. They get pushed, but they still don't commit. So they might get pushed in, but they, they might, they might lean up against it, not fall in. No, I don't want, I don't want to yet. They might be in a marriage and I'm using these two examples because these are the two most prevalent, I think, problems in our, in America, you know, divorce rates are higher than ever and obesity, you know, one out of three people are obese. So I use these examples because they're so, they're so common and you know, they might be, it might be that their wife, Hey, we need to work on things. Hey, I want to divorce. Then they start committing to their marriage. Then they start committing to their, their relationship. Why are you waiting? Why aren't you diving in? If you don't want to dive in, start taking little actions. Instead of, you know, telling your wife, telling your spouse, you love them every single day. Instead of giving them love, instead of giving them encouragement, you just hold it off. I'm going to fight with you. I'm going to argue with you. I'm going to, I'm going to resent you. I'm going to be all in front of the kids in front of you. And they just push back. They get pushed. No, I'm not going to push back. They get pushed towards the water. No, they don't dive in. They don't get in. I'm not saying you have to be a diver. People that are divers, they're, they're just they're just driven. But the people that are tiptoers, that's fine too, as long as you take your steps in it and you get deeper and deeper and deeper and get involved with it. But don't be the person on the sideline because you will get pushed. There will be a moment in your life that you get pushed to the edge and you either decide, hey, am I going to fall in? Am I going to change something? Or am I going to be uncomfortable here on the sideline and, and watch my life waste away? Get uncomfortable, guys. Dive in tiptoe in just get in just get in that's the whole point of it or you'll be pushed in and whatever that that pushing factor is 
if it's somebody, if it's something, if it's God, you know, I believe that God pushes me into uncomfortable moments, you know, and there's, there's, there's a place that we go to at Lake Superior and Lake Superior is so cold and there's a little cliff there and guys, I, I don't know how to swim. I'm not a very good swimmer. I wasn't a very good swimmer, I should say. And, you know, I've had moments where I jumped into pools and stuff and I don't know how to swim. You know, I'm freaking out. I'm not a very strong swimmer. I hate cold water. I hate water in general. And I was sitting at the edge of this cliff and I'm just like, I'm just going to do it. I dove in and it was freezing and I just, I just, <laughs> I could barely get to the top, but I did it and I felt accomplished and I did it over and over and over again. It got easy. I got comfortable to it. Now I could just jump off any, any, any cliff. And I feel fine with it. Because I got uncomfortable that one time, now I'm way more comfortable in those situations. So get uncomfortable, dive in, get into it, change your life. This is how you do it. Just sitting and they're like, I don't want to get in, it's too cold. It's, it's, it's too deep for me. Dive in, get used to it, it'll be great. So thanks for listening, guys. Start changing something. It's Monday. It is, it is August, I think, 8th, 9th, uh, August 8th, August 8th, I think. Uh, 2016, change your life. Who you be August 8th, 2017? If you keep on getting uncomfortable, if you tiptoe, say you're diamond, you just want to change, just do it. Just do it, get involved, get uncomfortable, so you can be comfortable. All right, guys, that's all I have for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up, and then subscribe. Be tuned for more videos, guys. I'm going to be uploading like crazy. I hope you like this. Let me know in the comments if you like this, guys. So, thank you.